you must be thrilled back at the Palladium. I mean, it's the, I what, what a place. It is. The audience are already excited <clears throat> before we start just, <clears throat> excuse me, just to be at the Palladium. Yeah. So there's, it's got that kind of amazing atmosphere. And this show is, I mean, it's, it's huge and spectacular. So um, it's not like Panto used to be a bit naff. Absolutely dripping with innuendo. Dripping with innuendo. I mean, it is Dick Whittington. Mm. And um, Elaine Page is playing Queen Rat. And yeah. she's very naughty. I mean, we, we sing a duet. This is not something I ever imagined myself to be saying. <laughs> I'm, we're singing I Know Him So Well. Oh, wow. And of course, it's all about the struggle of good and evil. She's evil, I'm good. And she wants to get her hands on my dick. And I'm not having it. No, yet. I'm not surprised. So, well, when you, uh, right, right from the word go, you have a fantastic entrance. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the show as well. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, uh, how do you get in? On a bell. On a giant bell. A, a giant bell swings in and I'm clinging to it, Are Philip, you? for dear life. And I come down and I sing, you can ring my bell. Yes. Which it's is... what the public wants. <laughs> it is. I'm coming to see it, actually. I'm Are very you? much looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm bringing the kids. Um, and it does, I mean, the beautiful thing about Panto, and actually where you are, genius, is that it is for the kids, but it, there is also an entirely different show going on for the adults. I also. think, well, uh, why not? Because, you know, at least 50% of the audience are adults. Yeah. And if you, if you hone and polish your innuendos sufficiently, then it can work on both levels, and that's what we try to do. Yeah. It used to be very tiresome for adults to go and see Panto, but this one isn't. Last year, I used to come out on a, uh, this motorbike and spin around, and I could see right to the back of the upper circle. And frankly, there weren't a lot of children involved. Yeah. You know, there's mainly adults <laughs> yeah. in the audience. Yeah. 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 And uh, so this is uh, part of a big part of your Christmas. I mean, you're quite happy to be at home these days, aren't you? Sort of slightly, uh, it's nice that it's in London. <laughs> yeah, I like being at home. Far. But I like being able to nip out, say, so I'm just going to work. <laughs> Christmas is great, but it does go on a bit, doesn't it? So I like to be, I like Christmas Day with my family. Yeah. But uh, I like being the fun part of other people's Christmas. Mm -hmm. And because it's such a grim time of the year, weather-wise, to be in the Palladium, wearing a lot of makeup, talking filth. I mean, it's what <laughs> I'd be doing at home anyway. <laughs> so I might just let them pay for it. <laughs> And you've got, but there is no time to do anything else. I imagine, like Christmas shopping, you must have got that sorted by now. I mean, oh, could you call this the black hole of Panto? Once you're in, there is no getting out. It's just that. Yes, I think I haven't done any shopping yet. I think what I'm going to do is decide... That makes like, me panic for you. No, everyone's going to get the same thing. I've just got to decide what it is. If it's going to be candles or soap or something, right. I can go to one shop and do the whole lot like, in by. one gulp, can't I? Well, there's no excuse because the Palladium is so perfectly a place for all the shops. Yes, this so, is you know, true. Thanks yeah. very much. Really, you're yeah, right in the middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's inspired by my very hairy neighbours when I was a child, and I grew up in Teddington. So all I do is regress. And, uh, so did and, you see your hairy neighbours when you were eight uh, years old and yes. store that thought? Yes, I did. <laughs> I, and I used to make up that. stories, and I made up... When I saw how hairy they were, Philip, when the father took his shirt off on a hot summer's afternoon, I thought, well, goodness <laughs> me, they aren't human beings at all. They are a family of animals living in disguise. And then they laughed. <laughs> they were all laughing. And I thought, well, they're hyenas. So that was the story I made up as a, an eight-year-old. And then I just came back to it. And there's a few more to go. Yeah, there's three out already. <coughs> uh, you're not well. Do you <laughs> need... Oh, sorry, no, I've got something to... I don't know what's happened. You need to suck a fisherman's friend, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> it's a matter of urgency. You <laughs> guess that would help. <laughs> Shall we get you one? No. Let's just talk about something else. <laughs> um, <laughs> touring, are you... T I'm fine. Suddenly I've recovered very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> when, are you, when are you touring next? Oh, um, I wouldn't know, not the year after next, so we don't, we don't need to talk about that. Oh, fair enough. You can go back to your cough if you like. <laughs> no, 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 it's gone. I'm fine, I'm suddenly totally OK. <laughs> oh, man, it's Dick Whittington. It's the London Palladium from the 9th of December until the 14th of January, and, uh, and it will be absolutely amazing. What a beautiful theatre to do it in. Thank and you. thank you very I much. I hope you're well enough to come. Thank you, I know, I'll be fine, I'll be fine.